On September 15, 2017, humanity bid farewell to one of the most ambitious space missions in history. After two decades in space and billions of miles traveled, the Cassini spacecraft sent back its final stunning images before plunging into the planet's atmosphere in a planned fiery end. In its final days, Cassini offered us unprecedented views of Saturn's iconic rings, its mysterious moons, and its swirling storms, capturing the planet's beauty in great detail. This farewell, called the grand finale, was a mix of science and emotion for space fans around the world. Today, we will take a look at Cassini's breathtaking final moments, exploring the stunning images it captured and the discoveries it revealed. To truly appreciate Cassini's final images, we first need to understand its origins. The Cassini-Huygens mission was a cooperative project between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. The spacecraft is named after two 17th century astronomers, Giovanni Domenico Cassini, who discovered several of Saturn's moons, and Christian Huygens, who first identified the planet's rings. Cassini lifted off from Cape Canaveral on October 15, 1997, atop a Titan IV B Centaur rocket. Its goal? To study Saturn, its rings, and its entourage of moons in extraordinary detail. But reaching Saturn would require a seven-year journey across the solar system. Cassini undertook multiple gravity assists, two at Venus, one at Earth, and one at Jupiter, to pick up the speed necessary to fling itself toward the ringed planet. Each planetary flyby was a meticulously planned slingshot maneuver, using gravitational energy to send the spacecraft millions of miles further out. Finally, in July 2004, Cassini arrived at Saturn and performed a nerve-wracking orbit insertion burn, passing between the planet and its rings. After that, the real science began. From the moment Cassini entered orbit around Saturn, it started transforming our knowledge. A key example is Titan, Saturn's largest moon, which is covered by a thick orange haze of nitrogen-rich atmosphere. Cassini had radar instruments that could see through Titan's clouds and revealed a surface with rivers and lakes, not of water, but of liquid methane and ethane. This surprising discovery suggested that Titan's hydrologic cycle works much like Earth's, but with very different chemicals. Cassini also carried a special companion, the ESA-built Huygens probe, which separated from Cassini and parachuted onto Titan's surface in January 2005, giving humanity its first close look at a world shaped by alien weather. Building on the Titan discoveries, scientists are now planning the next bold step with the upcoming Dragonfly mission. Set for launch in 2028, it will send a rotorcraft to Titan in the 2030s to explore its surface and atmosphere in even greater detail. Cassini's radar maps, data on methane lakes, and atmospheric profiles are guiding both the landing site selection and the instruments that Dragonfly will carry. Enceladus was another major discovery. This small, icy moon became one of the most interesting places to search for life beyond Earth in our solar system. Cassini's instruments detected huge plumes of water vapor and ice particles shooting out from cracks near the moon's south pole evidence of an ocean beneath the surface, making Enceladus an important target for future exploration. Because of Enceladus's potential habitability, new mission ideas center on orbiters or landers that could fly through the water-rich plumes and directly sample them for signs of organic compounds. Cassini's data continue to guide these proposals by identifying ideal flyby trajectories and providing clues about the subsurface ocean's chemistry. Meanwhile, Cassini's cameras captured Saturn's rings in stunning detail. These aren't just uniform bands. They're a complex structure of icy particles, propellers, waves, and gaps. The spacecraft revealed how these rings are shaped by the gravity of Saturn's many moons. Additionally, Cassini revolutionized our understanding of Saturn's atmosphere. Its storms, including a raging hexagonal pattern at the planet's north pole, told us that Saturn's climate was far more active than we once assumed. These discoveries were made possible by Cassini's advanced technology. It carried 12 sophisticated instruments, ranging from high-resolution cameras to spectrometers that analyzed chemical compositions. 
Cassini transmitted data over a billion miles back to Earth, requiring precise coordination among NASA's deep space network antennas worldwide. By the time Cassini approached the final chapter, its grand finale, it had already transformed our understanding of Saturn. Yet the spacecraft's most daring act was still to come. After nearly 20 years in space, 13 of those spent orbiting Saturn, Cassini was running low on fuel. Scientists and mission planners faced a critical decision. How should they end a mission that had provided so much value? One option was to let the spacecraft drift aimlessly around Saturn until its control systems failed. But that posed a risk of crashing into a moon like Enceladus or Titan, worlds that might harbor life. Contamination from earthly microbes could potentially compromise future scientific studies of these moons. To avoid that scenario, NASA and its partners decided to end the mission on purpose by directing it into Saturn's atmosphere. This controlled destruction would protect those moons from unwanted contamination. This plan, termed the Grand Finale, was both scientifically ambitious and dramatic. Over a series of 22 final orbits, Cassini passed between the innermost rings and the top of Saturn's atmosphere, a region no spacecraft had dared to explore before. The gap between Saturn and its rings spans only about 2,400 kilometers, or 1,500 miles, making these dives very risky. If Cassini encountered too many ring particles, it risked damage or even destruction before the planned finale. Engineers had to carefully orient the spacecraft's large antenna like a shield when crossing these particle-rich zones while balancing protection with the need to gather data. Despite the risks, the potential rewards were huge. These final orbits provided unprecedented close-up views of Saturn's atmosphere, gravity field, and ring structures. Cassini's instruments captured more details than ever before, helping scientists improve calculations of Saturn's rotation rate and ring mass. The spacecraft also sampled the outer layers of Saturn's atmosphere directly, giving scientists real-time data on its composition. Essentially, Cassini became a deep space atmospheric probe in its last days, delivering crucial information that could never be obtained from a more distant orbit. As Cassini neared the end of its final orbit, the mission team prepared for a bittersweet moment. The spacecraft would aim its high-gain antenna toward Earth one last time, sending back images and measurements until it could no longer fight the pull of Saturn's immense gravity. It was set to become one of the most emotional moments in the history of space exploration. Within Cassini's final collection of images, several stand out for their beauty and scientific importance. One of the key highlights was a final global portrait of Saturn mosaics taken in the spacecraft's last days that combined multiple frames to form wide, panoramic views of the planet, its rings, and even some moons. In addition to visible light cameras, Cassini used infrared instruments during these shots, revealing heat emanating from Saturn's deeper atmosphere. These multispectral images help scientists study temperature gradients and weather patterns beneath the cloud tops. One of the iconic features of Saturn is the six-sided jet stream around its north pole, often called the hexagon. It was first observed by the Voyager spacecraft in the early 1980s and has been studied for decades. Cassini's last images of the hexagon show detailed cloud patterns, storm edges, and color differences that suggest different chemicals are present. The pictures also highlighted how sharply the hexagon's boundaries stand out from the surrounding atmosphere. Scientifically, these images offered a last-minute chance to study the atmosphere in action. Saturn's pole is a place with high-speed winds, temperature gradients, and complex cloud chemistry. In the final months, Cassini's cameras documented subtle changes in the hexagon's coloration and shape, which might be connected to seasonal shifts as Saturn moved in its orbit around the Sun. By comparing these final images to earlier ones, scientists can track how the storm evolved over time. The significance? Such data might help scientists improve models of giant planet atmospheres, which could also apply to Jupiter, Neptune, or even exoplanets. Planetary weather is driven by solar radiation, internal heat, and rotation. Saturn's hexagon shows how rotation and turbulence in the atmosphere can form stable, geometric patterns, phenomena we're still trying to fully understand. Arguably, 
One of Cassini's greatest achievements was its unprecedented study of Saturn's rings. In these final months, the spacecraft got closer than it ever had, sending back high-resolution images that zoomed in on ring gaps and subtle ringlets. Among the most famous features are the Cassini division, the wide, dark gap between the A and B rings, and the narrower Enki gap carved out by the small moon pan. In these last orbits, Cassini documented propellers, which appear as propeller-like disturbances in the ring particles caused by tiny embedded moonlets too small to fully clear a gap. The high-resolution images show the clumping and wave patterns that result from gravitational interactions among ring particles. These propellers serve as a scaled-down analogy for how planets may form in protoplanetary disks around young stars. The key breakthrough here is resolution. Before Cassini, we only had blurry images of the ring structures from Voyager-era snapshots. Now, we can see the fine details of ring particles colliding, clustering, and interacting with moons. This helps us understand not only the physics of the rings, but also how similar disks in space might form and change over time. While the mission was wrapping up, Cassini still found time to study Saturn's moons. Enceladus, known for its bright plumes erupting from the South Pole, was captured in striking detail in a few final frames. Though these shots weren't as close as some earlier flybys, they reminded us why Enceladus is a top candidate in the search for life beyond Earth. Even from a distance, the icy jets were plainly visible, massive geysers feeding material into Saturn's E-ring. Small moons also made brief appearances. During its final orbits, Cassini took this image of Daphnis located within the Keeler Gap, a 42-kilometer wide division in Saturn's A-ring. Daphnis acts as a shepherd moon, maintaining the structure of the Keeler Gap by gravitationally influencing the particles near it. As Cassini prepared for its final dive, it captured its last image, the impact site where the spacecraft would land just hours later. At the time of capture, this location was on the planet's night side, but would rotate into daylight by the time Cassini made its final dive into Saturn's upper atmosphere. For the mission team and for space enthusiasts around the world, this picture is deeply emotional. On September 15, 2017, Cassini began its final act, a deliberate plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. After crossing the ring plane one more time, the spacecraft oriented its antenna toward Earth and accelerated toward the planet at tens of thousands of miles per hour. In those last moments, Cassini functioned like an atmospheric probe, sampling Saturn's upper layers. Its instruments measured temperature, composition, and pressure, transmitting every bit of data in real time. Mission Control at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California received these signals with a mix of excitement and sadness. They knew every bit of data packet was a valuable clue to understanding Saturn, and also that the spacecraft's clock was ticking down fast. As Cassini descended deeper, increasing atmospheric drag caused it to lose orientation. Soon, it could no longer keep its antenna aimed at Earth, and communication dropped out. Back on Earth, the signal was lost forever. The silence marked the end of Cassini's 20-year journey. The emotions were strong. Many team members had dedicated a significant portion of their careers to this mission, guiding the spacecraft from concept to launch to its final orbits. Still, they knew this planned end was the right choice. It protected moons like Enceladus from contamination and delivered one last set of important data. Even as Cassini ended its mission, it left behind a treasure trove of new discoveries. During its final orbits, the spacecraft provided the most precise measurements of Saturn's gravity field and provided new insights into the planet's internal structure and rotation. Understanding how fast Saturn actually spins beneath those thick cloud layers has been a challenge, and Cassini's last measurements helped refine those estimates. Simultaneously, Cassini's close passes through the rings provided data suggesting that the rings might be younger than Saturn itself, perhaps only a few hundred million years old. By measuring the rings' mass and density, scientists discovered clues about how they might have formed from shattered moons or cometary debris. These findings contribute to bigger questions about the evolution of Saturn's system. Are the rings temporary structures in the life of giant planets? 
could ring systems come and go over billions of years? During the final plunge, Cassini sampled Saturn's atmospheric composition, revealing the presence of complex molecules and unexpected chemical interactions. These findings help scientists piece together models of Saturn's formation and compare them to the gas giants Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. This data will likely influence how future missions design instruments to probe these distant planets even further. Cassini's discoveries are still important for current and future studies of Titan, Enceladus, and other places. By comparing Cassini's data with findings from future spacecraft, scientists can observe changes over time, like differences in Titan's seasons or changes in Enceladus's plumes. In the end, Cassini's final images and data perfectly wrapped up a mission that changed how we understand Saturn. Even now, scientists are studying the last bits of information it sent. Cassini's legacy stands strong as one of the most successful and groundbreaking space missions in history. It gave us incredible images and important data right up to its final moments, ending a 20-year journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to Lucid Space, and press the notification bell so you never miss new videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.